Hi, uh, Dave Knight here, and uh, we're going to play a game called Did My Plant Survive This Winter Freeze? Walking inside the greenhouse here. Oh, my plants underneath this row cover. It's finally above sub-zero temperatures now, and uh, 32 degrees outside and 52 in here. That humidity is pretty high. Ooh, we're making lots of solar. And we're getting lots of sunlight here. Now, through all this uh, sub-zero stuff, we have had lettuce and other stuff under this frost cover. So we're going to pull it back. see what's left and if it's arrived. Let's get a ruler here. We're going to see if there's any frost. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Look at these young plants here. There's a little bit of frost. What's under this one here? Oh, it's not bad inside. But anyway, we're going to see. A lot of these are frost hardy lettuce and kale, spinach. Uh, yeah, I kind of think the radishes might be done here. Oh, yeah, they're frozen. Should have got those out sooner. Oh well. Try again. This uh, normally I can make it through the winter here. This not freezing. But uh, some of this lettuce may come back. The leaves, the tender stuff coming out in the spring once this thaws out in here. But this is like uh, 96 hours of below zero weather, which is unusual for my area. The styrofoam uh, does work, but with such of a uh, frost, oh, yeah, okay, I can get my finger, yeah, it's about a half inch crust, so that's from the top, but underneath it uh, still hasn't frozen, and uh, pull some more back here. And it still doesn't look too bad. We might get something out of it, but uh, I cut all I could before. Uh, I find the biggest thing in overwintering stuff is to have the plant established. It'll have a chance to come back. Anyway, this is a continuing saga of trying to grow vegetables in Ontario in the winter time. Uh, some years I get lucky. It's about a five-year cycle, I find. You get froze out, and uh, I'm afraid I lost my five-year-old celery plant. Uh, succumbed to the frost. All is lost. <sighs>